YouTubers, it's Crypto Big Boss coming to you again with another exciting video. Hey, there's been a lot of questions about the tool that we're using to do price predictions and to project what could happen uh, with various cryptos. And um, I'm delighted to be able to show you the capability that we're building uh, and to take on any analysis that you guys might want to uh, see. We've got a couple of videos, one with Bitcoin versus Ethereum. We also have one talking about how the altcoins right now are a better value. And seeing as how we just kind of had a minute market correction, I just wanted to put out a quick video to see exactly how these things are performing, how these different cryptos are performing after this minute correction. Okay, so when we look at Bitcoin, and this video is going to be primarily about Ethereum, but when we look at um, Bitcoin in general, we can see right now we still have a sell um, recommendation from the tool. We can also see from our 30-day graph that we literally have five data points in a row basically showing a downward trend. Not a single day in the last five days has Bitcoin been up. What happens when we take a look at Ethereum? Ethereum is a little bit different. We have a hold recommendation from the tool two days after what I would consider a minute correction so you can see here that this tool is really uh, agile with regards to making its recommendations. It'll change each day. But more importantly, we still have an overall 549% upward uh, versus a Bitcoin upward percent of around 370%. So... People keep talking about the mighty Bitcoin and it's a store of value, but we have a tool showing us clearly, emphatically, that Ethereum is a better value. And we've already shown that you can see the same thing with other altcoins, things like VeChain, things like uh, Chainlink. So let's go back to Ethereum because that's what this, this um, video is primarily about. I wanted to talk about how now even though uh, you're looking at 550% right there for the 200 day, and you're looking at 39% over the last 30 days, what could happen? I keep talking about a trillion dollar market cap. A trillion dollar market cap for Ethereum. People think that it can't happen but if you look at the fact that the growth rate for Ethereum is now outpacing the growth rate for Bitcoin over a 200-day period, and it's not by a small margin. Let's look at that again. This is 550% for Ethereum. Let's look at Bitcoin. Over a 200-day period, that's 370. Look, that's like... 180% faster trajectory in the upward direction over a 200-day period. That is smoking Bitcoin. Ethereum is smoking Bitcoin as far as its, as far as its return on, on investment. If you haven't heard anybody say it like that or they're careful about how they say it, you're not going to hear me uh, put it lightly on this channel. Look, we got a tool showing us. It's smoking it. Ethereum is smoking Bitcoin as an asset for return on investment. So if we continue to see this kind of performance, okay, a 200% increase, what would it take just to get to a trillion? Okay? Well, <laughs> the market cap right now is sitting at about 257 uh, billion. To get to half a billion, all we need is another 
100%. Okay? In addition to that, we could see that additional 100% in the next 200 days. Okay? In the next... So, basically, what that would happen is, is that it could be at a trillion dollar market cap somewhere in the very beginning of 2022. That's right, folks. It could even happen as soon as 2021, somewhere in December. It's not an outlandish idea. Okay? I predicted an $8,000 Ethereum by close of business 2021. And we have the numbers to get there. So, it's going to be interesting to see after we get out of this little dip that we're in. Please take advantage of the dip. This is not financial advice. Uh, yeah, that's right. Please take advantage of the dip. My price predictions are still staying the same. An $8,000 Ethereum is imminent. Imminent meaning by close of business 2021. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you on the next one.